Well, hello there and welcome back. My name is Elena. And I am Fotios. And this is the Game Court. And today is Game Review Day. And today we're reviewing the game called Container. Which is a bit of an old game, yes. older game, I would say, and it's not very easy to find. But I think they're going to do a reprint soon, mm -hmm. so this is us. So Container was originally published in 2007, and then well, there was a big reprint with big chunky pieces, chunky ships, chunky containers, Ginormous everything. everything. Mm. Uh, but we played the original version with a friend of ours, with two friends of ours, and, and it, I mean, we like a nice, good economic game, so we actually quite enjoyed it, and that's why I want to review it for you guys. In Container, players drive prices as they produce and ship goods in this economic simulation. So the description technically is not very bountiful, but you do exactly what it is. So everybody has a little board, everybody has their own personal board, and there is a board in the middle that doesn't do as much as you'd expect it it's to do. It's an island. It's an island where you go and sell your goods at an auction. Mm -hmm. So the island is only for auctioning. You have the ability to move around with your boat in open sea, and you can go and visit your opponents, and you can visit their docking station, where you can buy their produce that they produce, and you can put them on your onto your market, where mm. you can sell it at a different price. Other people can dock onto your docks, and they can buy whatever you've already bought from somebody else. So it's, a, it's like a middleman situation, mm -hmm. where you buy from one person and sell it again onwards, and somebody else buys it from you, and then you know they sell it at an auction and stuff like that. So it's that's kind of the gist of the game. Really. Yeah. So basically, you produce stuff, which uh, they stay with your factories, and then people have to buy it from you to put them in the warehouses from where other people need to basically buy them using the boats. <laughs> and then they take and all they of that to the auction. <laughs> exactly. And of course, the boats have a capacity of uh, five containers each, so you cannot have more than five containers in a boat. And uh, the game is extremely fun because it has one element, the secret information. Because the containers are worth different value to different players. So the most valuable container, I think, is a uh, 10 money, okay. then you have the container that may worth 5 or may worth 10, depending on different end game conditions, and then the other containers worth less. But the container that was worth for me the less, it might worth for none the most. So we have this asymmetric container prices, if you wish. And it's a factories that you can buy for your own board, and those will produce, so you can, I think there are five different, five different colors, yes. colors mm -hmm. and you will produce from the factories that you have on your own boards, this is how you produce. So you can produce the same thing if you want to, or you can pr produce different things as mm. well. And of course, as you, as you build a factory, the next factory for building purposes is more expensive. Everything works on yeah, the same idea exactly. of the next thing that you're going to buy is going to be more expensive. The warehouse the same thing. And each warehouse can hold up to two containers. So you can have, let's say, three warehouses can hold up to six containers in your docking area where people buy it from with a boat. And what you do in your turn, you do exactly two actions. And these actions could be production. Production, you produce all the factories, but you have to pay one money to your play to the player on your right. It's like your unit, your union boss. And buying stuff from other people's factories is another action. Docking your boat to other people's uh, docking stations and buy from the stuff is another action. And generally, moving your boat is one In action. In the open sea. You can move it from the docking to the open sea, or from the open sea to the island, or from the island to the open sea. That's kind of, it's not yes. very, very many places to actually go with your boat. Yeah, and after you go to the island, an auction happens. So basically, every other player takes some money and secretly bid, and then everybody reveals. And the active player will either have to accept the highest bid and then take a matching contribution from the bank, or don't accept the highest bid, but in this case they have to pay from their own money, the money, the amount of the highest bid, and then basically take the containers in their own area of the island. Otherwise, the containers will go to the highest bidder. Now, the way that we describe the game sounds fairly simple, although... And it is quite simple, right? The rules are very simple, and mm. it's not very hard to follow the rules. Now, the excitement comes from how actually the game is played, mm. and there is plenty of interaction in between the players, which makes the game very fun and very engaging. And you would really want to pay attention to your opponents, because if they don't produce, for example, you don't have anywhere to buy from. And if they don't put anything in their docks, then there is nothing to buy. And if you're the only one producing, then you will have the most money. So in the, the game only works if everybody pitches in. But again, 
you will have to know how much you want to pitch in because you don't want to give too much to your opponents and then you end up with nothing in your warehouses. You have to price the containers efficiently, like price them very high when you know that your opponents are going for them, really want them, and price them quite low if you want them, because they want your, you want your opponents to buy them and then buy them from them through an auction, potentially, to go to your part of the island. So it's a very clever game how it works, because, you know, until the containers arrive to the island, there are at least two steps, intermediate step of pricing, and, of course, you have to choose carefully your prices, but also what you produce yourself. Do you produce your highest value containers or your lowest value containers? I think the game is very thematic. I think the pickup and the delivery and, uh, you know, the this, the middleman and the third middleman and the fifth million middleman of all these containers being bought and sold makes the game very exciting. And I think I like it very much. <laughs> Quality of the game is not impressive, although I think that the boats are made of ceramic or ceramic, like yes, that. Ceramic, yeah. yes. It, it is quite cool, actually. I'm yeah. surprised. Yeah, they're very cool. But then if you decide to, you know, be excited or whatever and Bonk. you snap it or you drop it, you drop it and you have no more boats. <laughs> so that's not very nice. But overall, it's a 2007 game. So, you know, that says enough. The game plays, uh, we should have said from the beginning, three to five players. So it doesn't play with two, so it's not really a game that uh, Len and I would uh, play ourselves or would do a playthrough, but we played at four and it was quite Super enjoyable. Super interactive, yeah. yes. And we can see uh, even at five would be a very good game. Um, I don't think um, it really uh, drags, I mean, maybe slightly drags in, in terms of duration. It takes about a couple of hours to finish, but uh, I think because you are keeping on your toes every time, are people going to buy my containers or not? Who's Even, going to produce yeah, exactly. this round? Is anybody producing? She says there's nothing to buy. Exactly. Quite, quite frustrating, but yeah, it's a very engaging game. And for the people who are not uh, doing very well with money generally, there are also loans in the game. <laughs> I think you've had a few. <laughs> <laughs> I had all the time you, loans, yes. you kept on, kept on paying them and then you got some more and then you paid them and got some more. The cool thing is that you can take a loan at any time. Like if you want to bid highly on auction, you can just take a loan and do, and go for it, yeah. Yes, but you can take up to two loads in the game. That's the only limitation. You can't have three loads in the game. So the maximum you can have is two loads. How about some yes and nays? Yes. <laughs> All right. One uh, yay from my side is that I was very, very positively impressed because this is an older game and I wasn't expecting to work that well. I really like how it works and I must say that I'm using now my 3D printer to print some components, to print some boats and some containers and start painting them so we have our own version of the game because it's out of print currently. I think I'll kind of double that a little, mm, from mainly from a mechanic perspective. Mm -hmm. um, I think this game from my EA would be mechanics and the way the way they they interact with you know they make the players interact with each other yes. mm. and how sound all these mechanics are and straightforward and simple and not gimmicky or it's just plain good old oh bless, bless you, you freddy good old mechanics and they work very very well oh Whoa, boy thanks. somebody sick very well i will agree with that the the lack of gimmickness but the you know you get satisfaction from the game um, and I would completely agree with what you say there. I mean, it gives you this, it has this nostalgia of a feeling of a game. Yes. But equally, it works very nice, very smoothly. And I don't know, I, I highly recommend to everybody to play at least one game of container. When it comes to Nace, I think the game is low when it comes to re replayability because there is not much that changes game over game, but really from your, which card you have, which containers. But equally, it doesn't really matter if it is purple or brown you basically have a card. <laughs> so one aspect, the replayability is quite low. So I don't see that this game is going to be played very often, but maybe once a year or so, like every other game, if you have, a, other... <laughs> if you have a very big collection. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say every other game that plays in high player count, but okay. I, I think yours applies just as well. Yeah. <laughs> One of the name is that because the game is, you know, strict and it has good old mechanics and they are very well integrated, because there's no gimmickiness around behind it all the game, one of the one of our friends got himself stuck stuck in yeah. a situation where he had loans and he mm. couldn't pay interest for it because you have to pay interest mm. at the beginning of every round. 
He couldn't pay the interest anymore because he didn't have any money, so he lost most of his containers this way. Mm. And there was no catch-up mechanism where you could either lose some points or, I don't know, auction something off so you could get some extra money to pay the loan or something along those lines. There was nothing in there. And then for the last good few rounds, the only thing he did is he discarded his containers, or I discarded yeah. his containers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and basically, there is a bit of... a bit, you know, a bit so, of a letdown. Yeah, there is this element of uh, player elimination, if you wish. It, somebody can go bankrupt, and the others may continue playing. So there is this aspect, which is not to everybody's, uh, you know... L yeah, liking flavor. or taste, exactly. yeah. But when it comes to these kind of games, economic games, economic simulations, I think, it's fine. At the end of the day, it's just a game. So if you like Container and you want to try other games that are similar to Container, not exactly similar, but have two... But they have a similar element, exactly. yeah. Exactly. We have two recommendations for you. One recommendation is about the auction aspect of a Container and uh, also the simplicity aspect of Container, this this kind of non-gimmickness. I like how you, how you call it, I really like it. And our recommendation there is uh, Ra from Rankanidia. It's a very, very, very nice auction game. And it's also quite fun and entertaining and keeps you up your toes. The second recommendation is if you don't have two hours at hours to play, but you mm -hmm. like the pickup and delivery aspect of this game of, of container, you can try Isle of Trains, which is a very little pretty game, which by the way, um the production is incredible in that game. Uh, but it's again it's a pickup and delivery a game which doesn't take three million hours uh, and you can find it i think it's a fairly new game as well mm -hmm. so yeah that was our video for the day i hope you enjoyed it thanks so much for watching see you later bye